So now it's time to get to work and I have a bit of a non-traditional commute. I like to roller skate to work. And the reasons why I roller skate to work is because I like roller skating and I have public transit. So I like to get to work in a way that's reliable for me, fun, and you know, I get to some cardio. And yeah, I typically takes me 10 minutes to get to work and I live about a mile away from my workplace. So yeah, let's get going. First thing I do when I get into the office is go to the bathroom because I'm so sweaty so I need to like clean the sweat off me. <laughs> this summer I'm working as a data science intern at a bank. If you watched my vlog from last summer I'm doing the same internship at the same company and team and everything is pretty much the same but better. The company upgraded its tech stack and my project is more exciting and well structured. I feel like I get a lot more support from my managers and stakeholders. Most of my day is spent doing data analysis and deciding what direction I want to take my analysis because there's so many different ways you can take your data. And yeah, I talk a lot with my other co-intern who's in the office with me, working on the same project. And besides that, I attend some coffee chats and some intern seminars meetings. Uh, yeah, so I study computer science and business at Berkeley, and I kind of I like those two majors because, as you said, like data storytelling, I feel like it's pretty good for like telling stories with data, and especially like how they can be related to certain aspects. So, um, and like like I said last summer, I interned on. So one thing people don't tell you about data science is that it can be hard to find what you're looking for and you can get lost in the data. So for example, I was trying to find a certain insight from the data, but I couldn't find it. And what I found was not what I was expecting. So now I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do. And this is unfortunately a pretty common feeling in data science, especially starting out. So don't get discouraged if this happens to you. Uh, my name is Vincent. All right, and how was your day at work today? Uh, so I was trying to find something, but I ended up finding nothing. My name is Pooja. And how was your day at work? My day was very good. I made a dashboard. Okay, I just finished work, so let's go home. try this workout basically they have this on the wall and you can use it to do various workouts and they look pretty fun so I'm gonna try them out We just planned a internship for this weekend to go to a lake house and I'm super excited. I feel like I'm starting a ride again where I planned trips like a few days before. But yeah, I really like how this intern cohort is super social. I'm very glad that they want to hang out with me. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me guys. Today we're going to be making my struggle meal for dinner because cooking can be kind of a struggle. I haven't cooked for myself for every single meal in a while because last semester I was abroad and it's a bit difficult to get into. I feel like sometimes it can be very tiring to make a dish, spend a lot of time and it doesn't even taste good. So today I'm going to be making a dish that I know will taste good, hopefully, and that is peanut noodles. I finished making dinner, and to be honest, I think I lost a bit of my touch for making peanut noodles because this tastes a little bit mid, 
but I know one thing that will make anything taste better. Green onion always makes food taste so good. And this green onion, I actually started growing in my apartment and it grew so fast. Like it started out with two sprouts. Now it has five and the roots are huge. I'm like so proud of this green onion. So every time I make dinner, I make an extra serving to bring into the office for lunch. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with these noodles. And I think I had some leftover green beans from when I made them a few days ago. So I'm also going to include that in my lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna head back to and I'm gonna head to bed now. My essentials for sleeping are my earplugs because it just gets so loud around here at night. There's always a car revving its engine super loudly. And there's always a party car that just drives past at night super loudly. So I definitely need these earplugs to block out sound. And doesn't even block them out completely because it's really loud. And then I always sleep with my heating pad because it makes me feel less lonely. And yeah, thank you for following along with my day. I hope you enjoyed it. The summer has been all about improving my physical and mental health. And I feel like this routine is definitely helping me achieve that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I'm trying to living, combating living alone. Like to look at yours, get some ambition while you bored, 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 bored.